Kia Year 11, 12 and 13. This video is going to go through a really useful idea for solving some problems in scholarship calculus, and that's the idea of a geometric series. So we talked about this a little bit in last week's tutorials and promised that we'd do you a video to explain it. Um, this is a formula that you don't get given, but if you spot one of these in a problem, it can make your life so much better. So here's the formula that I'm going to prove in here. I'm just going to chuck the formula up here and then I'll get into what each of the bits mean. So you need to be able to use this, and then memorizing it won't be a drama. So that's the first bit. That's the sum of n terms. And then sometimes we have a thing called the sum to infinity. And we only we can use this only in some situations. This is when we've got a series that is going to converge to a limit. So I'll talk about that a little bit more um, later on in this video if I get time. So let's start by looking at what is a sequence and what's a series. So a sequence you looked at way back in probably year 9. Um, we had some sequences then that went like this, 1, 3, 5, 7, or negative 6, negative 8. I don't know why I'm doing 2 every time, it's a bit silly. But in both of these cases, to go from one to the next, here we add on 2 each time, right? And here we take away 2. So we'd call this an arithmetic sequence because there's a common difference. And the common difference in that second one is negative 2. Right. And what we're interested in here is not an arithmetic sequence, but a geometric sequence. So when you've got a geometric se sequence, you get to one term from the last one by multiplying by a common ratio, and that's called r. So this first one that I'm going to do has got r of 2. The numbers are doubling every time. So we'll start with 1. Um, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 twos are 4, and so on. Or... We might start with um, 0.8, and then have 0 0.08, 0 0.008, and so on. So in this case, to get from 1 to the next, we're multiplying by 0.1, or dividing by 10. Now, a series is just a sequence where you add up all the numbers. So that first one, um, the sum to the first of the first four terms will be S4, 1 plus 2, plus 4, plus 8. And in the second one, S3 would equal 0 0.8 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.008. Now in those two examples, we can figure out what those sums are really easily. This one here, see if I can do it without mucking it up, is going to be 15. And this one here will be 0.888. But in scholarship problems, we often want to work with that idea in a difficult context such as a complex numbers one or an algebra one. And what we're going to learn how to do is to find a formula that's let me gonna, that will let me find that 15 from using the formula. So we're going to do a wee proof. Um, it's a really nice little proof. It's not too hard. What's that page? Right. So this is where we're going to get to. We're going to show that the sum of n terms is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. So a is the first term, and r is equal to the common ratio. Um, sometimes you'll see this written the other way around, like this. Uh, so just learn one of those. I've always done it that way, but either will work out fine. So let's start by looking at what we can say the sum to n terms is. Well, the first term is a. The second one is a times r. The third one is a times r squared. So be careful here. What's the nth term going to be? Try and do this with me as we go. So here we've got the first term has got no r. The second term's got r to the power of 1, right? So hopefully you'll see that the nth term is not a times r to the power of n, but a times r to the power of n minus 1. Now somehow we want to go from that to having this thing here, sorry, background noise, dinner time here, right, there, we want to go to that. Well, what we might start by doing is multiplying everything through by r, and then we're going to find that a whole lot of stuff magically starts to simplify. So if we multiply through everything by r, this is what we're going to get. We're going to have ar plus ar squared and so on. So then we'll have a to the r 
a times r to the power of n. Now let's think about solving simultaneously, and if you're watching this, that shouldn't be too hard. We're going to think of this as line 1, and this is line 2. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, equation 1 minus equation 2, and I get this, Sn minus Rsn on the left hand side. Now look at what's going to happen on the right hand side. I'm going to have A here in this column. So A take away nothing gives me A. But here I've got AR take away AR. So that leaves me with nothing. This one, AR squared take away AR squared gives me zero. And so on. Here I've got nothing. And in here, what have I got at the end? Well, I can actually write that as zero in there. Okay, and so I've got too many pen colors, minus ARN. So you should be starting to feel quite excited at this point, because what we've got on the left-hand side is SN minus RSN is equal to A minus AR to the N. Factorizing over here gives me this. So Sn is equal to A times 1 minus R to the N over 1 minus R. So that gets me my formula. Now on the next page, I'm going to check that it works just with a couple of wee examples. So remember we started with uh, our sequence that was 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Um, let's work out what S, the sum of the first three sums is, using this formula. I'm going to have to not do the proof of the other one because I'm getting everyone telling me I have to go and have dinner now. So here we are, 1, minus, 1 times 1 minus 2 cubed divided by 1 minus 2. So look at that, I get 1 times negative 7, doing bed mass like back in year 9, divided by negative 1, and that gives me 7, which is indeed the sum of the first three terms. Okay, so there you go, that's how you use... Um, how you can prove the sum of a geometric series to n terms. Now I want you to go back and look at that last complex numbers problem in session 4 and see if that helps you solve it, the one about the complex roots where we had them all evenly spaced around the unit circle. Okay, because the geometric series formula is what we can use to solve that problem. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have some more scholarship videos up, videos up later on this week.